all right you are still watching ways um today um, established in honor of the person who originally created the game of basketball play basketball day is celebrated on the birthday of james naismith um december 2nd james naismith was a canadian man who moved to Massachusetts with the purpose of teaching physical education and sports at the YMCA training school in the city of Springfield. Now the term basketball was coined as namespeed in 1891, by namespeed in 1891, um, and in, by 1892, the rule book for basketball was written by the creator of the game, including 13 different rules. The same year, the first public basketball game was played publicly and the YMCA began advertising the game internationally not long after it soon spread all over the world Jennifer did you play basketball yeah please no, tell me I, you I was going to ask. basketball <laughs> I was just waiting just to finish let me just ask that question <laughs> If I get a dollar for every time people yeah. ask me, I sure will be a billionaire by now. I'm so tired of it. I tried playing basketball, honestly, because I've always loved the sport and I think it's amazing. But when I got into uni, that was when I, I started learning. Mm. Um, but then I noticed that there were lots of violence people mm. were always so agitated people were always so angry <laughs> and because i was trying to learn i also had girls like me who had started learning from secondary school so yeah, they were so good time, so there was yeah. lots of um favoritism on the courts and i just didn't appreciate it and with the kind of university you, I went you have, you have to, a in your blood. Yeah, <laughs> and i was just like come on i'm trying to learn why are you trying to pick sides or pick your favorite girl or something like that well, i just left it and i was just playing for fun i'm sure i didn't even know the rules of the game or anything i was just throwing hoops and i was i was <laughs> i was satisfied with that well you see uh, this <laughs> game the amount of billions of That's dollars trillions of dollars that basketball rigs in what? for the u.s yeah. And in fact, globally right now, like, yeah. but it's major in the oh, US. Yeah, like, yeah. I just did look, this is my total children. <laughs> what am I going to do with you? And guess yeah. what? They're not even enough. So, um, Sanzi, yeah. Sanzi's brother, uh, Sanzi's brother, as at the time that he was going to the US, he was six foot five. Even at that, by the time he got to the US, mm. he not see well, measure. Of course. So now he's playing the American football. Mm. Yeah. You can imagine. At six foot five, that uh, when I stood beside Sanzi's brother, it was here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was getting, I was, on, I was at his waist. No, they are actually so tall. I came across, I came across a um, a female basketballer. I came across her Instagram because um, I saw it on my explore page, and I realized that she was six eleven. Yeah, what? I was stunned, and she wasn't skinny. She's she's, she's thick. Still, yeah. She's tall. She was so beautiful. I was like, oh my god. And you here you and are I'm like, thinking, I'm, like I'm, I'm tall. I'm six two. Six eleven. Oh my god, a poor wire. Oh no. Hey. And I think again because the sport is so um intense the, there's a specific diet once they identify like if you were abroad you you'd have grown taller than this because they now put you on a specific diet mm. to keep on aiding mm -hmm. ah, my dear there's a lot but i love the game mm. honestly i love the game honestly and wish i, 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 honestly wish I could play right honestly wish I could as play. you just find like this just hard, but, oh <laughs> now <laughs> Uti, are you there yes ma'am hey uh, mama hi, <laughs> good evening hi, welcome oh, this is our lagos traffic so, so happy yeah <laughs> sounding good somebody wants to come and help me to my work please Uti, you and um, jennifer would have been basketballer so as the tallest i was a basketballer actually throughout like secondary school it was so much fun but it didn't go anyway. I didn't get to the WSB. <laughs> Sadly. I see. To go. Jennifer is back now to be sharing heights. Yeah, I said it. I said it. I said I love how that Jennifer is back. Uti, Uti will start her war against nobody's supposed to be taller than me. 
I'm not I'm not friends with people who are taller than me. No. <laughs> well, we don't have a choice, so we'll see we're friends. We don't have a choice. <laughs> you can't escape. All right, so what did you find for us in the news? Let's start with you. Ah, hmm. So remember that story I took yesterday uh, about um, NMPC and petrol, right? Yes. Where the wonderful cause of the ongoing petrol scarcity, according to NMPC, was bad road. Well, if man came back today to say, they didn't quite say I beg to differ, but um, really, they came back. So this was the headline reads, no end to fuel scarcity until, and this is from Ipman Western Zone, uh, the representative who is the vice chairman, Mr. Joseph Oyewali, has said that the um, current fuel scarcity is attributed to the increase in pump prices based on the hike in private depot prices, which of course sounds more like what we expect to be the challenge because that's been the ongoing problem, right? The cost at which the um, the fuel or the, the petrol is being lifted from the private depots. He continues to reiterate or he reiterated what we've heard before, which is the fact that they've not been loading um, from any NMPC depot. So there are five NMPC depots in the NMPC, um, uh, of the NMPC in the Southwest. But since February, none of them have been working, which again, we've been hearing consistently. He goes on to claim that today they're actually buying fuel at the cost of 212 to 215 um, naira per liter and of course that doesn't take into account the um, price of then transporting these uh, this fuel out of Lagos state so in truth ladies if the price does not go up the fuel scarcity will continue absolutely so I we wait for the refinery mm -hmm. but we don't know when yet Mm -hmm. You know, you know what you were saying yesterday. I said, let us just believe them. But let me even just add to what you've said because my story is just to tell us that the fuel queue would grow longer. You know, after the sufficiency claim that the federal government is claiming that they have enough fuel, mm -hmm. right? Um, Punch is reporting that fuel crew, um, queues mm -hmm. grow longer after the uh, federal government um, announced this sufficiency claim. Now, despite its claim that the queues right now in Abuja, Lagos, Nassau, Niger, and other states are just growing by the numbers, right? And, you know, today, it was so difficult for me to get, because I, I was supposed to get um, an Uber to bring someone to the, from the mainland here. They were just calling ridiculous prices because yeah. now everybody's taking advantage of the situation. Yeah. And that's why, in fact, that's why um, part of why we need to have the conversation that we're having because mm -hmm. you now must be really smart about your spending. But let me quickly go to you, um, Chinelo, then I'll take Jennifer's story. Okay, on a lighter note, uh, history is made as maybe Nelson has released a second album after a 10-year hiatus. So they've dropped a compilation, a compilation album titled Chapter X. So one of Nigeria's biggest record labels, maybe records, have released their highly anticipated album, Chapter X, in celebration of their 10th anniversary. I'm very excited about this. I mean, seeing... Don Jazzy getting his people together again and then doing... Well, I, I was just wishing he had brought, so it would have really been really nice, like guys. everybody too. Mm. So let it not just feature... I love the new guys, by the way. Mm -hmm. I love Overdose. I don't know any other song, <laughs> but I love Overdose. And I like that Aria star, right? That's Arasta, her name. Yes, she's Arasta, she's Arasta, doing Arasta, amazingly Arasta, well. Yeah. I wish, you know, he would have featured, like, from the band, Tiwa, everybody, Tiwa, DJ, Corede Bello, Dr. Seed, mm. you know, it would have mm. really just, uh, uh, but maybe they will do it 20 years, mm. only God knows. <laughs> 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 but nice, nice one, Maven. John Dazzy is really, really a don. Ah, he is. Mm. And so, uh, <laughs> Jennifer, your story. All right, so my story is, um, Kanye West trolls Elon Musk and gets suspended. I mean, um, Kanye West has been in the news for of recent for a long time now, especially starting from when he he got the divorce or separation yeah. from Kim. from Kim Kardashian. So I think this time around, he also trolled Kim, saying that he saw um, that he caught the basketballer Chris Paul with his ex-wife, and then also trolled Elon Musk. I mean, this is not the first time he's trolled <laughs> Elon Musk, but now since Elon Musk is now the owner of twitter and he's like yeah, got to yeah up, get I'm out putting here. you out leave and then that's it get this, out this, this <laughs> elon musk way ban <laughs> elon musk don't ban ways twitter and what do we post what do we, what do we, he said he said we'd violate something i was not wondering Biko, what how many followers are we have <laughs> i think he's 
we that we com just we complained money. about his um, charging yeah, for verification. Maybe that maybe was that's what, why. because maybe that's the only thing. That's so I remember we, we tagged him that. to say, Uncle, pity us that $20 is a lot. Of, and I will still say it again. You can ban me. It's fine. People are very bold. You had to tag Elon. Yes, yeah, we have to tag him. Yeah. Elon. No, but wait. What is the whole idea of social media? Social mm -hmm. media they broke the, the monopoly. The, what's it called? That um, gap. gap that you mm -hmm. cannot reach people that mm -hmm. you don't. I, I yeah. can tag Obama, can tag can, anybody. You can send so him again. I, I mean, I mean that's, that's the... That's what social media has given to us. Access. But now that now that Elon has um, taken over Twitter, it's kind of like a different ball game. So mm. now it's like we're playing on his pitch. Mm. So if you're not doing what he wants, he's the referee, he's the coach, no, he's the lines man. So it shouldn't be like that. Actually, well, he's not yeah. supposed to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not supposed to be. And a lot of people are complaining about it. But then people keep saying, "Oh, let's just sit back and see what will happen." Because I mean, things will unfold. Uti, they will soon ban you. But then speaking about Kanye, <laughs> we need to pray for Kanye because Kanye is going through a lot mm. this, this period. I mean, I, I don't know how that. I'm very. I'm hoping he doesn't do something ridiculous in the coming year because right now I'm sure he's under so much pressure. Did you see that he has to start paying child support two hundred thousand pounds? Oh, yeah, two hundred thousand dollars. That's yeah. that's that's crazy. And I, he, there's no income from because there, there are no endorsements. He has, Everything he has signs been and, stripped off. So he needs prayers. And that's the truth. So they really must watch him closely because it he needs if, if he is not strong take, enough um, to take professional it. help. No, I, I hear that he sought yes. professional help at some point, but then he wasn't consistent with it. And then, so mm -hmm. that's uh, well, yeah. you know, he needs a support system. After his mom died, see, I think he just lost yes. it. Yes, you see, even the professional support, um, Jennifer. The truth is, um, there's so little that they can do. They can do, mm -hmm. yeah. If, if you, if you, no matter how much support you're getting, mm -hmm. if you have not decided, I really want to help myself, yeah. there's no much the professionals okay. really can do, can for, do you. for you. Sure. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's go on a break or let's discuss how we can manage ourselves. Stay with us, we'll be right back.